Hi guys and good evening creeps. Okay guys and creeps, let me just um, tell you uh, something about uh, the title of this is Misery Loves Company. And what I wanna say about Misery Loves Company is that, you know, I was talking yesterday about how um, someone can pit someone else against you. And honestly, I'm dealing with somebody in my life that is busy doing that all the time. They're always pitting somebody against the next person. And a lot of times, hold on one second. Hello? I got it. I'm record. I got it. I, I, I'm recording a video. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Okay. So, uh, so listen guys, let me, um, uh, I'm hoping that you can hear me pretty good because it's a lot of traffic and stuff. Okay. So let me see. I'm actually looking at something. Okay. So let me just make this uh, message kind of quick. Okay, when somebody is pitting people against each other and if you are so stupid that you don't know when somebody is manipulating you and pitting you against the next person, then, you know, don't, don't allow somebody to do that. Please don't allow it because really they're going to win because if you are just sit, stupidly sitting there letting somebody run up to you and, or call you and tell you bad things about the next person and you are starting to hate that person and just because of what this person has told you a lot of times from what I'm starting to realize in my life is that misery loves company and I'm thinking that because there's two people in my life that you know basically think the worst of me they think that I mean just terrible things about me and you know I have tried to explain myself you know I'm not ugly I'm not a bad person I'm not crazy and bizarre I'm not I'm not no bizarro world I'm really not I'm not a bizarre person I don't do bizarre things I mean you know I'm not perfect but I certainly am not a crazy and bizarre I mean I'm not a deranged weirdo I, I you know I try to be nice to people I try to be cordial to people I've never hurt anybody or anything in my entire life. I, you know, I try to be respectful and kind to people. And I'm not a crazy and bizarre bitch. I'm really not that. I'm really not that at all. Okay, so you, I, I find that, you know, sometimes when people, uh, when people are very, subset, uh, sub, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, when people, let's say for example, um, this person is running back to I have to get ready to cut this message short because um, something is about to happen in a few minutes and I got to meet up with somebody okay so anyway what I'm trying to say like this okay it's like this if somebody is the pitter okay the person that is going to pit you against the uh, pit the person against you so you know they're they're calling this person up or they're meeting with this person behind your back and they're telling each other horrible things about um, the person that they that they hate now a lot of times when people do that it is because misery loves company if somebody is susceptible I'm trying to pronounce the word right somebody is um, easily uh, swayed or is very happy to have somebody um, coming to them and telling them bad things about this next person. You know, a lot of times they just are a miserable, hateful person themselves and they are probably enjoying that. Because I don't enjoy when somebody is trying to pit me against someone else. I'm smart enough to know when somebody is doing that and honestly, a lot of times it's just two miserable people or more that, you know, are enjoying each other's company in regards to just, uh, you know, and th just uh, nonsense. I mean, they don't have, so the, the other person obviously is not as stupid as I think they are. They should know that whoever the stinky, stinky, stinky dog shit breath 
smelling weirdo, four-eyed, disgusting, ugly punk. If that, uh, if that ugly bestiality, um, child molesting, ugly punk, just because this person has has abused children, and this person has done horrible things, and you're actually sitting there listening to a person that has abused kids, a person that you know is eating dog shit. I mean, this person is just one of the worst people on the planet Earth. And you're sitting there listening to this type of weirdo. And you are sitting there letting this person pit you against me. You know, and you this person is more weird than you could ever fucking imagine. So obviously, you must be a miserable for fucking person too. Because misery loves company, baby. And the only way you could sit there and listen to this nonsense is only if you are a miserable weirdo too. Because honestly, if you ever find this message, you should stop listening to that person whose breath smells like dog shit. You should stop listening to a person that abused children. So anyway, uh, uh, live fiercely, love viciously, and remember, atheism is unstoppable!